So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the ball of my needle turning as true as I can. So I'm going to kind of show this to you. Right now as I spin it, it's got a big circle to it. What I want to do is I want it to not be turning very far. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to do this right here. Now if you see, you know, you'll get better at it as you go. It's not turning very much. This is for reference only. So now that I'm turning pretty good right there, I'm going to come in so that we can see this being indicated. So we're going to move to the hole. And this is, this is going to be helpful because it really helps us eyeball the center of the hole. We can go ahead and make our precision shifts. So I'm going to go into position page so we can see what's going on. I'm going to come down in Z. Now right now, I'm just spinning it inside the hole so I can see how close to the center I, I am. So I'm going to shift over just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is I'm going to move into the hole in Z by about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. I'm not going to move my part to the ball of the needle. I'm going to move the indicator until it touches the part. So as I push it, you'll see my needle turn. I do want to see my indicator bouncing back and forth as I turn it. So right here, I'm going to call this my starting point. We're going to come to the starting point several times so it'll be easier for you to understand what's happening. So at my starting point, I'm going to turn the dial to zero. Or if you want, you could go to the 15s. All I'm going to do is go 180 degrees to the other side of the hole. And I'm going to try and watch it best I can. So as I rotate it, you can see it starts deviating away from the hole. It's going clockwise until it gets all over here. And you can see it's about halfway around. So, and if you need to, you can do it a couple times. You can go back and forth. So I went clockwise about halfway around. So I'm going to kind of go about half the distance. Because it went almost one full rotation, I've actually gone back counterclockwise back to where it was. Now, I don't want to go the full amount because if I do, and I go back around, I'm just gonna be chasing my tail back and forth. I'm gonna go the full amount, the full amount. So what I'm trying to do is center it. So if you're trying to center it, you go half the amount. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go back to my starting position and I wanna put everything back to zero. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. So we'll come back over here. I'm gonna come back to zero. Okay, don't pay attention to what's on the indicator right now. I'm going to reset. Okay, so what should have happened is now my deviations should be a lot smaller because I centered it up. There still might be some deviation, but I want to center it up. So I'm at my starting position. I'm back on zero. Notice I didn't move my machine to make it zero. I moved my dial. We're going to rotate again and see where we're at. So as I pick it up and I go around, you see I'm going clockwise. Clockwise, and but if you'll notice, it starts coming back to the zero. Now, we're really close right there. We're within two thousandths. So all I'm gonna do is go one more thousandths towards zero, not two, half the distance. And then I'm gonna reset and check it one more time. So to come over here, I'm simply going to put it on zero, and then we're going to do it one more time, and this should be it right here. Now notice my Y is still off. I don't want to worry about my Y right now. Come back over here, and you'll see I'm right on zero. Now here's where it gets easy. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. The last thing I want to do is I want to move it back to the front to where I can see it. Now on the front, I'm going to go the full amount 
back to zero. So watch very carefully. I come right here and you'll notice that I'm off seven thousand. So doing this last part, I'm only going to go right to the zero. Now when I rotate it, you'll see I am on the zero all the way around the part. That means that my hole is indicated in. So now that we have this hole indicated in, we need to set our work offsets. I'm going to come back up here. I know that was a bit lengthy and it will take you a few tries to get it just right, but don't get frustrated. I'm going to type in X zero measure, Y zero measure. Now remember, it thinks the hole is zero. Now if we look at my setup sheet right here, it says from this hole, I need to shift this amount. So I'm simply going to go back into X. I'm going to type in a minus one inch, 750 thousandths, and I'm going to hit plus input. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm going to hit execute. When I look at the Y, you'll see that it says a minus two inches, 150 thousandths. So I'm going to go minus one, two inches, 100 and 50 thousandths and I'm gonna hit plus input and execute. Good news. This setup is complete. I uh, hope this video helps you with your setting up needs. Again, my name is Aaron Runk. Thank you for watching.